Hello everyone, it is Velgrim is about to bring you another Let's Play of Final Fantasy 16. Like I promised, we're going to be doing this mission today. And just in time too, because I'm ready and I'm gearing to do some adventuring. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Sorry, I'm adjusting my mic really quickly. Forgot to put it right in front of me. Uh, Speaking of Oriflam, are you the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. I'll do just that. Alright, come on, Clive. Gotta go talk to Otto. Wherever he is. Are you Otto? So you're really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's good for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's... Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. This is a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Ooh, is somebody listening? Alien reports unlocked. Alien reports are now available by viewing by speaking to GOAT at the Alien report counter in the Hideaway Mess. These reports complied by the curse breakers contain information on the quest currently available across Val Valistia. Okay. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. There's Gav. Right there waiting for us. Like a good man. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Don't forget Torgal. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, 
Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Farid still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. No, I'm not. Well, he still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I oh, you flatter me. Probably cut us a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. <laughs> We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. There's Torgo. Looks like we're going here. Alrighty. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? That depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can do that. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let Will them do. Go. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Let's talk to these folks here. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Oh, oh there's another quest for me to do. Here we are. Get out of the way. Got some questing to do. I have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. I'll do just that. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Hopefully. Just feeding some healthy uh, individuals. 
some wealthy looking individuals for sure. Brother, did you see? That bearer spoke to a master. What manner of place is this? <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Here you are. Eat your fill. Don't be shy. Eat up. May we? Truly? Yes, of course. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask mm. to be fed. Yeah. Thank you. Stop it's living in chains. Thank you. That was easy. Easy 15 experience. And a guild bug. Always nice. Alrighty, let's see what this other, uh... Oh, there's Togo. I forgot all about Togo. Don't worry, Togo, I didn't forget about you. Get it, boy! <laughs> I got an award. Uh, let's see what's over here first. Quinton, I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's ah, oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Sure, man. Please. What can I, I do for you? Wasp so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, got him. Okay, whoop. There, boy. It's over. Get him, boy. Easy kill. There, boy. Stay down. I just squished the bug. Tigers in against Squishing. These are major wasps. Sick of Toggle, it's over. Easy kills. Easy. So easy, I hardly broke a sweat. For 16 experience, too. Sharp Fane and Bloody Hide. Always good. Looks like that was the last of them. Time to head back. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, buddy, I got some good news for you. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Thank Our you, kindly. Our Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed 
and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> That's so nice. Dying on the vine. And we get 15 experience and sharp fame and black blood. What is black blood? I think early substance sometimes found pooling in newly found wounds in the earth, such as cracks left by tremors or the passing of icon. Though it burns as hot and bright as any crystal, the liquid has until it's recently been largely ignored by the people of Valestia due to the acidic smoke that it emits when ignited. Okay. Valuable. Can be traded for Gale. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. Time to head to this mission over here. Sun's setting fast. They'll all be back from the vineyard soon. Oh, it's over here. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Just on the edge of the city, right? But it's two o'clock. You know what to do, boy. Easy kills. Enemy, two or three o'clock. Get that Togo! Easy kills. Easy. Holly broke a sweat. The sword is really good. Glad I got a good sword. Ooh, and what is this? Potion. Always oh, nice. Wasn't even worth the trouble. There. North Reach. Easy and simple. I wish I had some birds to ride. Wouldn't make this much more easier. Oh, but we got enemies. <laughs> Get up, boy. Uh, excuse me. It's over. Level up! We got it from 21 to 22. That's always good. I do that when we got enemies right here. Brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. I heard the Damer's friends in the south. Sick of Toggle. <laughs> Oh, 
Give me soon. one of those pounds. Like a plum for the apple of your eye. With reds, whites, ales, meads, ciders, berries, murrays. Oh, sounds really good. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Not another step, branded. Or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Want to fight about it? We can fight. Keep your hands to yourself. No one will buy anything that's been served by a branded's touch. Come, treat yourself. I wonder what the brand really means. Like, did this make you an outsider? I don't know where to go. Are you gonna buy something or not? Oh. Merchant. Do you see anything you like? Nope. 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 Lionheart tonic. What does that do? It said that one owns limits are made to be broken, but that but but that doing this so is easier than said than done. Fortunately, there are such there are ways of convincing the mind that such impro impro improbable feats are not only possible but readily within beats. This tonic being one of them, gradually fills limit break gauge for thirty seconds. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. I'll keep that in mind, sweet cheeks. Oh, here we go. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Oh, I think I can. Just give me an hour. You're the dame. Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Of course. You can trust me with anything. You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. Mm. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. 
but I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that kind of favor. Just know that you're in for it, my boy. Life is gonna be knee deep. You <laughs> say these are all from Dalmechia. Fruit's not getting any fresher. Okay, let's do this. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Will do, my lady. I'll do whatever you say. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we yeah, must be ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth! Everybody has such a problem with Brandon. That wasn't so bad. No, that was easy. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Let's go to the Vale then. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, you don't. But now is the time to shine, my man. You're going to be a man today. He's going to require that favor. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling, welcome to the Vale. Well, welcome to me. It's so nice to be here. What can I say? I'm excited. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you. It's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. Sid had nothing you, uh, to do with it. Mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh. I'll do my best that I can do. You sit in the moon and stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there.
Try to tie his request. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. One lead after another. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. By the pond, what pond? Of well, this pond over here? So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Mm. I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. It looks like we got a side missing as well. Two side missing. Three side missing. What the heck? One after another. Excuse me, you there, the gentleman with the sword. <sighs> do I have time to do all these? Might as well. For the experience. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames. Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Might as well. Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Okay, I'm doing this for a thousand gil. Did one of them get on this side? Another one of the dames pets. Why was she? Might as well get these done as well. Sergeant's got it in for us too. Where's your commanding officer branded? 
Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? Sure, why I'd not? not? Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Let's go. Oh, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the pride, so you know one end of a... And he's done for. Literally the easiest thing I could possibly have killed. <sighs> he didn't even land one hit. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? It's not a bearer. Win the dame's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Uh, yeah. He's got potential. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. That was so easy. <laughs> they didn't even post a single challenge on God. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old sod at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? <laughs> no can do. That would be lying, and I don't lie. Pride comes before the fall. 20 experience points. Nice, and the meteorite. Always good. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars. Thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About sure. what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, 
Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Sure, why not? Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Okay, I can do this. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Okay, time to get to these other missions here. Over here. I have something for you. from the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. I will. Bandit, who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames. And you, if you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Last one. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Dad, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. Yeah. It looks like you need it. Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If 
If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. No problem, man. Just doing what Brandon do. Drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Ah, that bastard. Time to deliver these messages. That's the day done then. How about the veil? With the right to confiscate any of the fish. Fancy a drop of the empire the fire. Fresh fish! Oh, all kinds of fish. What did you say? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. I didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. You got it. Don't want to spend another second talking to you. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden, all right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. Well, that's one down. Two more to go. We've reds, whites, ales, meads, ciders, No berries, one's allowed through the gate until all packs have been inspected. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Good, I really don't want to spend another second with you either. Everyone's so mean. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. What a chipping, young lad. However, do... There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. <sighs> well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. Meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. And they head back. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. Here you are. Ah, you have returned. 
I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals. Even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. No problem at all, my man. Anything for a whomping on the wall. And we got some experience. But still silk and bloody hide. Okay. Alright, time to do the last one. Tor has been behind me this whole entire time, right? Yes, he has. Alright. Are you here for business? Or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Quest completed. Friend of the people. In the experience, nice. In a thousand gil. You got a lot of gil. Magic dash, okay. Alrighty, time to get on with this mission. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. The markets are open. Ugh, It's not been half the moon since then. I've heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue! He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's <coughs> Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Yes, yeah, time to go. Let's see what we can do. Clive, tell 
me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Sorry for my dogs barking. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Alrighty, off I go. Oh, that's so far away. Why couldn't I have a chunk of bow? Oraflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? There we go, faster we go. I'm not gonna find anything, I just wanna get to this, this mission over here. Branded. Everyone's so mean to the branded here. That's enough dallying, you two. Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. Oh, and of course there's another miss side mission. Might as well do it. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Sure, why not? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. We're talking about a horse, right? She must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Yeah. We're prioritizing this quest. Anything to help the little girl out. It's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. And there's another side mission over there too. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. I saw the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. All right, to the windmill, I guess. Oh, over there. Chloe? Uh, more brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. Are they dead? The 
Crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Yeah, she's Why dead. Did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, D don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. But Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. Go to sit with a little girl. No, <sighs> these side missions actually really suck. I'm not gonna lie. They're not that interesting at all. The only reason why I'm doing this is for the experience points, and the experience points isn't even that much. It's not even worth it. I'm just doing it for content. Ah, hello, are you? There's still work to be done. You, branded here now. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. Sorry for my dog's barking. The insolence. Someone needs to learn to break his slaves. Uh, do I have to work for this idiot? You're late. Late for what? All right, I'll do it. Right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. <sighs> for someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Come on, Togo. Just you me. We can do this. The wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Togo looking vicious as ever. And only four experience points. Nice. No! You aren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. <sighs> the wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. Yeah. 
Time to put that, that coachman in his place. Man, bandits are really treated like dogs out here. It's actually kind of crazy to see the kind of uh, reality branded face when just being a normal person. It's like what they are is truly less. You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Can we slap him already? Oh You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Can we just slap him already? I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Probably way too many. There we go. All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Is this 
you're doing. Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For the help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. Magic Ash. Okay, and 20 experience points. Well, this uh, well, this side mission was very depressing. Time to move on. Another brandy drop in the field yet. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Okay, time to look around. We weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think he's a deserter, do you? Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, there. Even if grain is missing, the collectors of them. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Okay, looks like I'm here. Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, well, 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 why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. 
I love to just that. Helpful. Not. Like I tell the Dane that you were helpful. Alrighty. Time to go to this uh, nearby ruins. It smells of death here, Togo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. <laughs> Easy kills. 20 experience. Nice. Sorry, fan and bloody hide. Always nice. Okay. Damn it. So what are we doing? Bodies. A man and a woman. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Is that her though? So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day, he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I can do that. What else can the main character do besides doing all the side quests? I need to tell Isabel. <sighs> this is going to be a long walk. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. There she is. If it was a message, then... You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. 
They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Unfortunately, I did. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall no see problem at all. Place on her pyre. Press completed. The dame. And 200 experience. Nice. With 1200 gil. And a meteorite. Also nice. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Yeah, thank you. You've been a real pleasure. Dame. Okay, how do I get up there? I guess through the uh, side path over here. Yeah, run a little faster, Clive. We need you to hurry. Jill, your wife is waiting. None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. I figure it would be. Here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. What back door? To find this back door. As far as I can see, that thing is on a cliff. The pleasure house. Okay. This is where people go to get their rocks off. Very interesting. And we're staying here. This mean Jill. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. <sighs> you can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. 
castle. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the Sambrek. Which is a start. That's how you pronounce that. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? He's got a point. Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fate another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? No, I can. I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comfort? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the Outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of dicks. <laughs> it means my deeds will be remembered. I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. I guess it won't. Nowhere to go before it. Yes, proceed. doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. <laughs> Life's too short for perfect plans. He's sticky. A plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy, even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments, allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. 
Something seemed wrong. Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Well, we finished, all right. We'll wait for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it, and the whole thing should come tumbling down. <laughs> and if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. <sighs> Seems simple enough. The Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. All right, I'm right behind you. Obviously. The passage is empty. Oh, man. Civil man from reaching the sanctum, so shut your mouth. I swear this passage used to be Of course it is. Perfect plan to die. Perfect plan. Easy and simple. Alrighty, where do we go next? Are we going through here? Over here. We never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. We can probably clear them out. There'd be no trouble at all. This mission has me wondering how well this is gonna go, or if this is a pivotal, pivotal moment around. inside of Final Fantasy. We might have a bit more company from now on. Big boy coming in. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? No insects here. Find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. To the talker. Then let's shut him up.
Turn the lay on the fishing and the and pain. I got you. You're going down today. Oh, we have to find him again. We'll get none in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his You know what to do. My wounds, boy. Come and lay on this pain. I got your number. Easy kill. Pair of cannon, cannon, cannon there. Candelier. Is that what it said? The favor of the inferno. Ignition. Nice. I'll never get used to that. The Kashiko no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Yes, time to get out of here. God, duties are death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. You've said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits. Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt odds, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else. Meteorite, nice. Still silk, always nice. Some way we can open this up. Let's see what's over here. Uh. Easy find.
Doesn't look that far. Right. <laughs> Got you, man. Don't you worry, Kyle. I said. <laughs> Not quite as spry as I used to be. <laughs> you put it that way. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Eh? At least you won't get lost. <sighs> Alrighty, time to move forward. <sighs> I wonder if this e e e icon or this ether war cry. Some opponents will use an ability war cry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the X icon. Look for the icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Okay. Okay, I guess there's nowhere to go but the other way. They're here. Okay, I guess to go this way. Ten cents of right. And a potion, nice. Okay. Oh, we got a big boy. Get a point. Too slow. 
Yeah, time to land this pain. Push it. We're going to push it. Did I pay him? Level up. Nice. Okay, where did you go next? Over here. Where to go, Togo? You got a potion, nice. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. Once more. Aye, as soon as you're trying now. <laughs> as if that was going to keep us out. No way, man. We're too impossible. We're a good team. And I got a sword. Nice. They're buying things up a bit. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it. Let's hope they didn't move it. Because it would mean that we came all this way for nothing. There's no one about. That's a mother I crystal? Knew it would be big. But this. That's one big mother crystal. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. Seems simple enough. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, straight the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. <laughs> Simple of an answer as you're gonna get. Alrighty. Oh no. Is there something you two want to tell me? 
Maybe later. Get him! But how could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? There are two places connected somehow. Yes, it must be through this door. Okay. And see this door too. Ah, oh, time to kill. I'm trying to stack in this corner over here. Look at this world, man. Time to kill. 132 experience points. Nice. That was simple enough. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. This looks like a boss arena. And I'm ready for a boss fight. See, I knew it. I knew it. Where did that come from? If I had to guess. <laughs> Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Not this time. Dragon's going down.
Who knows? Clive, look out! Put away in the pain. And dead. I, I can't see dragon slain. 90 experience points. Nice. And 300 gil. 3000 gil. We got blood hard, meteorite, and black, and black blood. Oh, it's good. Such a shame. You were with the fight. Are you all right? Fine. Oh, the other side lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive, hmm. if this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. We can all hope so. Here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. <laughs> then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Alrighty, time to get out of here and move on. I wonder if we can get through that gate. 
Can we just push? <laughs> yes, we can. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what do we like to for? Sure is and looks dangerous at the oh, same time. Sandbrick. Sandbrick. I need to practice that name so whenever I get that later I would know how to pronounce it. Well, that didn't work. I think uh, we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tiger's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Is he about to call upon his, uh, Dominic? Oh, we're about to find another boss battle. Jeez. Oh, wow. Where are we now? You know, this doesn't look good at all. Where the hell am I? Do I get closer? Closer seems like I've what I'm to do. Yes, 
Can send the challenge my way. at all send a thousand my way I'll kill them all It's free now. That power isn't yours. Are we gonna get, are we gonna transform? Controls for the Ifrit are now as followed. Evade, jump, I already know this. Press triangle after executing the fireball burst. True iconic, vi iconic version of Clive's magic burst to perform a devastating me melee finisher known as backdraft. 
Okay. Use circle to sprint over to an extended distance. Hold circle to lengthen the sprint this duration. And you while using the, while sprinting to change the direction. Okay. All abilities are available while embodying different can be confirmed confirmed on the abilities tab in the main menu. Okay. While using left hand stick, hold circle while it is effective a method to avoid and type on wide scale attacks. Okay. Good is dead. Is that it? It's done. Oh, there's five of them, six of them. I don't care how many arms you go, you're still going down.
for taking you down one way or another, big guy. This is a death coming to you. I got my fireball. Hellfire. Nice. This music, I like this music. I'm not gonna say it, big boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he bankless? Or do I have to do this again? Typhon, bankless. Nice. And 870 XP. Nice. And a level up. Awesome, nice. That's great stuff. The breath of fire. Residual fire, fire ether that having fa failed to dissipate, dissipate on the battlefield has intensified, has instead manifested into a solid form, and not unlike crystal, but with an element of purity that renders it as far more potent, if not highly specialized in its application. Reduced flame of rebirth cooldown time by 12 seconds. Okay. Am I being returned back to my world? Why don't I use one of your potions? No, you won't. Oh, hey. I know who you are. And if you think I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Shield, <laughs> 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 
Maybe because my purpose isn't meant for me. Is this where Sid goes out? I hope not. I really like Sid. Sid's a very awesome character. One left. I'll do me. Hmm. Let's get you back to the uh Try not to talk. So doesn't fit Clive's and the rest is your This music still doesn't fit Sid's death right now. The crystal's blessing is a prison, Clive. And if it's an outlaw the world needs to help it break free. Stop. Please. I can think of none better. This music still doesn't fit. But I like it anyway. <sighs> oh, Sid. You were an awesome friend. Why'd you have to go out this way? Grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. Joshua. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Hey, 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 hey Do you recognize Joshua? Of course you do. You remember me, boy? Of course he does. He's terrible. The smallest know. little pup on the East I'm Coast. Very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Oh. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. 
And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend. Wallace, nice. No way. You hurt me. You must be here. Must fail, Lord Cook again. Fight, shit. Are all fucking dead? Sid, help us! Where is he? Ah, you'll do! Ah. Bastard! Gab! We've got to go! Not without this! Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. 
necessary. We're still gonna have to fight that thing one day. Where the hell are you, Sid? Where the hell are you? Cast nice. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Drop Make a nice steaks, gift to your wife. Sausage, ah. all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. curatives, restoratives, uncles, you like, ointments, sir. It's all fresh. This very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? Sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. I'll take that as a compliment. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. I wonder how we got into this area here. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. 
It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here! You're not going anywhere, punks. You think you're gonna stick on Brandon and not get away with it? The bear is safe. This leaves you and me. The power of thunder. Clive has claimed portion of the icon Rama essence. Attuning with the Rama not only ch changes the element effect of Clive's magic spell. But also allows access to seven new icon abilities such as Thunderstorm, which 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 rains eleven bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ability details are found in the ability time menu. Okay. <clears throat> Rema's feet. Rema's icon feet, blind justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball of lightning at up to nine targets determining the lock onto them. The lightning will temporarily remain affixed to the target and can be ignited by striking it. Okay. Sid dies here. Is that it? Bring me his head. Nope, that's not it. How many are there? Nothing that we can't handle. Is that it? Or is there more? Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! The kitten? They brought a pet. <laughs> You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. Time to get him. Uh, Republican War Panther slain. Oh, we got a lot of experience for that. 
and lightning shard, a steel silk, blood hide, and meteorite. Also good. Running off like a bunch of scared little puppies. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. Ah! <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Feel like a dick now, right? A lot of awkward silences. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Your choice is, Padre. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. I know so. We should go. Oh no. <sighs> Finally a chance to rest. Well, I think I'm gonna put end the episode right there, fellas. It's been a long one, and I think if I go to this one, it's just going to take away the next section of the campaign. So, I'll see you all another time, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye-bye!